How's it going, Blazers? This is David of Blade Banter. We're going to be talking with Patriot Blade Works. Uh, we do have uh, Bill and Kelly here, and, uh, so they're going to show off some of the knives. First off, we're going to start off with, though, is an icebreaker question. Uh, so for Bill, uh, give me a number 1 through 25. 17. 17. Uh, what was your favorite place you've ever visited? That would be Hawaii. Hawaii? And there you go. Yeah, a specific island or just the Maui. general? Maui. Yeah, very relaxing over there. And so now for some of the knives, so what's the most popular knife that you guys have right now that's kind of, you're seeing the trend on it? Trend on the ones we've got most of us selling is the, uh, what I call the Jackson. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, this model here. A little Jackson with a spade blade. So I sell more of those right now than to do anything. Nice. And then what's the blade steel on that one and what's the going price for that blade uh, there? The blade steel is S35VN and the price is 195 Very good. Yeah, so competitive pricing on that. Uh, so now, guess what's the new and exciting things that you guys have going on uh, with Patriot Blade Works? Do you guys have anything that's new for this year coming into next year that you guys are really excited about as yeah, far as an offering? We're coming out with uh, two new frame locks. Yeah, very good. Uh, for this, for next year. That's what I'm kind of real excited about that. Okay. And then what's the names on those for that one? Those, I'm still coming up with names. Oh, yeah, still <laughs> mulling it around a little. They're brand new. Now, so anything else you want to show off? I guess you got two other knives there. Yeah. And you want to we talk got, through those? Well, we got Kelly's favorite here. It's called the Mini Lincoln mm -hmm. with uh, titanium bolsters and denim uh, micarta handles. Same thing, S35 V with a harpoon blade. Nice. Very good. And then... Uh, newest model out is at my Tonto. Uh, it's called the Ambassador. This one comes with uh, Thunderstorm Kevlar handles, titanium bolsters, titanium liners, runs on, well all my knives run on uh, ceramic ball bearings and washers. Nice. Yeah, so now, just tell me about the brand a little bit, or, you just, or does Kelly want to tell me about the brand as far as that, how that, um, the company comes together? Okay, so now, Bill, what about the brand? Is, what makes you guys different from some of the other folks out there? Well, right now, the, what I think makes me feel different from uh, most folks, I've got a designer, Wolfgang Lautner. Mm -hmm. He's an art maker. So he designs my knife for me. Nice. And then, of course, I build them. Yeah. And so what I think, there's a lot of difference in my knife than everybody else. I run them on uh, ceramic bearings, and they're all made U.S. parts. Nothing is imported in and out. Right? Yeah, so yeah, you don't find that very often. So to offer that in a U.S. And a made and U.S. parts for the pricing that you're offering is actually a really good value yes. on top of that. So I think that's going to be a really good thing to offer for the community, for the knife community as well. Um, anything else you guys want to talk about? And, um, so I guess the last one, I guess we could ask both of you, but uh, what was your first knife that you could remember? Uh, the first knife you either got picked up or you know, by yourself or was given to you? Do you first remember that? given to me would be a... Uh, would be a Peter Carey knife. Nice. Right, very good. And then uh, Kelly's was a buck knife, and that was what you were saying. Yeah, it still has that buck knife, so no, very much a good brand for that as well. So I do appreciate the time, and thank you for taking that with me.